In this video, we're going over five easy soccer moves for kids. These are entry level moves, simple moves, but although they are simple, these are moves that you can use for the rest of your life, regardless of what level you play at. So I'm going to explain every one of the moves, show it slowly so you know the mechanics behind it, and then show you it at speed so you can see what it looks like once you get better. This video is sponsored by Rucket Sports, where you can get 15% off of their line of soccer products by clicking on the link down below. Rucket Sports sells a variety of soccer goals of all sizes and for all ages, along with other training equipment like rebounders to help you improve your game. They are not only great for team training, but for your own individual training as well. I personally use their products during my own training sessions, and I love them. Click on the link down below to check them out for yourself. Let's get into the video. So this first skill move is still used at the top level, but it's one of the first I think young players should learn because it's so useful and so simple. And I just call it the drag back. Um, and essentially what it's going to look like, and I'll show you it very slowly, and then I'm gonna show you some clips of me doing it quickly, is it's you're gonna be running at speed, running in one direction, having a defender here, and you're almost gonna step on the ball, drag it back, and then turn in the other direction. Now this move is very useful again when you're moving at speed or you go to fake a shot, and drag it back in that manner. It's very, very simple. There's not many steps to this. Again, it is situational. This won't work if you're just standing here and drag it like that. It's gonna be very easy to read, but if you're running at full speed, which I will show you in a sec, or you fake a shot or a pass and then pull this move off, you will be able to fool defenders many, many times. In fact, many professional players, most recently Mohamed Salah, uses this move all the time to gain space in the box before he shoots. So at a very slow pace, what it will look like, you'll be dribbling, having a defender here, need to change directions and just drag it behind you. Make sure you put your foot on top of the ball and just push it back slightly, pivot, and then move in the direction you've just played it. Again, this is gonna make more sense at speed. I'll do it from this direction as well, very slowly. You're just coming, you're dribbling. You make it like you're gonna go forward, you turn, and you continue dribbling. So now let me show you what it looks like at speed. Okay, we're on to the next move, and this is another very simple one, but it's another one that's used at the highest level. In fact, I see this move used more often than probably any other move, no matter what the level is. And the higher up level I played at, or the higher up level I watch, I still consistently see this move being used, and I think it's another one that should be learned at a very young age, and it's called the Cruyff, named after the famous Johan Cruyff, the very, very talented, one of the best in the world Dutch players uh, who ever lived. Now, the way this works, it's very similar to the drag back in the fact that you want to turn. You want to change directions with this move. And what it looks like very slow down is you make it look like you're going to shoot, kick the ball. So you set up like you're going to kick it, shoot it, cross it, or anything like that. And that's what you want the defender to believe you're going to do. And then you bring the ball back like this and go out the other way. So a little bit quicker, it looks just like this and you come back. And although it may, for some of you who are more beginners, look a little more complex, it really isn't. It really involves just a few movements. First, you go up to it like you're going to shoot. So set up like you're going to shoot, however that looks for you. Come back around, instead bring your foot here, back around, and with the inside of your foot, push it back behind you. This move has worked for me at all levels I've played at since when I was seven and it worked in college. It's worked against every level of player I've ever played against and I've seen it work at the professional level as well. It is my favorite move of all time because it works in many different situations, faking a cross, faking a pass. Sometimes I'll even be dribbling and just quickly do it to change direction. It's such a handy move and another one I really recommend all young players learn. It's one of the first moves I learned and it served me so well throughout my life. So I will show you some quick um, footage of it again, but I wanna just remember, remind you, doing it from this angle now, what it looks like, faking a shot. So you're gonna put your standing foot next to the ball and instead of shooting, you're bringing your foot around, turning it, pushing it through with the inside of your foot and then going out the other way. And let me show you some quick footage of it or it being done at speed um, because obviously it looks a lot different moving at a fast pace. Cool. 
Next move we're covering, again, is another handy move. This one is more attacking, though, and although it's very simple, again, this is used at every level. It's used at the professional level. Um, you know, don't think because these moves are simple or because the title of this video is Soccer Moves for Kids that these can't be used by older players, by more advanced players, because they are. I just believe these moves should be learned at a young age for kids. So this one's just called the chop. It's very, very simple, and here, is the, here are the components of it. Essentially, with this one, again, you want to fake it like you're going to shoot, similar to the Cruyff, except this time we're not taking it behind us, we're taking it to the other side in order to set ourselves up for to cross the shot or whatever we're trying to do. So the way this move works is you want to push the ball out a little bit ahead of you as, you're, as if you're going to shoot the ball. Again, you're going to set up like you're going to shoot, really sell the move, really make it look like you're going to shoot. You want your kicking foot next to the ball, except this time, instead of shooting, you're going to chop the ball back out the other way and go on to your other foot. So very, very simple. This does take a little bit of practice because you have to get used to chopping in a, in a certain way where you're not hitting it too far ahead of yourself or too short. But you come in, fake the shot, chop it back, and it will look a lot better when I'm doing it faster. But you come in, chop back this way. Players like Suarez, Messi, Ronaldo, so many of the big names in football use this move to great effect. It works all over the place. It definitely works a lot more near the 18 yard box. But again, I'll see kids using this move to great effect at a young age, and I've seen college players use it to great effect and professionals. So let me show you what it looks like faster, and then we'll move on to the next move. Okay, so fourth move we're going over is the magic circle. You can also call this the cut. It's another form of the chop, and this one is a great move, again, to turn directions, to cut really, really quickly. And if you watch the professional game, and if you watch players, especially with low centers of gravity, they use this and the chop very often. So Hazard, Sanchez, Messi, players of this caliber will use this all the time. And all this move consists of is, again, making it look like you're going to go forward in one direction and quickly chopping it back out the other direction. That's all there is to it. Very, very simple, yet very, very effective. And at speed, this move is magic. So if you have a defender, for example, running beside you, very simply, you cut it back this way. And because you're cutting it across your body like this, and you have the defender on this side, you're also shielding the ball as you're going by. So really, the only way they're taking it from you is if they foul you. This is a great move, again, to learn at a young age. And again, just very few steps involved in this. You're dribbling with the ball, players next to you, just come next to the ball, chop it with the outside of your foot, and then follow your chop. Again, I will show you what it looks like sped up so you can get a better idea of what it's gonna look like when you get better at it. But again, you're gonna be sprinting most times when you use this, but any of these moves you can get creative with. You don't have to, they're not rigid. You don't have to use them as they're intended to be used. You can get creative with them, but typically you'll be running at speed, have a defender on you, kind of getting close to you, maybe bodying you, and you'll come, make it look like you're gonna continue forward, chop it back the other way. So let me show you what this one looks like at speed, and then we'll move on to the final move. So this final move is actually going to be a bit more of a complex one because I want to give you one that's a little more difficult, a little more challenging, um, so that you can work your way up to more difficult and challenging moves. Now, I actually don't find this move too difficult, and in fact, I think with just a little bit of consistent practice, you will be able to get this in no time, but it's called the La Croqueta, um, and it's Iniesta, Andreas Iniesta's move, one of his, fa he's famously known for it, Michael Laudrup, who was a player um, a while back, he's also very famous for this move, and essentially, this move looks like this. It's two very quick touches where you're gonna drag the ball from one foot to the other or hit it to the other foot and very quickly go like this so that you come out here now again I'll show you what it looks like faster um, because I know at a slow pace it doesn't look like it's gonna do much but this move is great and the reason I wanted to give it to you is because it's a great move to use if a defender lunges in at you it's great to use in tight situations where you need to get out quickly because these two quick touches takes the ball away from the defender's lunge and takes you out the other way almost simultaneously. So you come in like this and you're already going out the other way. So how do you do this move? Again, this move is difficult because it requires 
a lot of good timing. Um, it's not a move you can just go and dribble up to the defender and do it. It's a move you use in reaction to a defender reaching into you most times. However, the move itself is really straightforward. It is literally just one touch from your one foot to the other and then pushing it out with that foot very, very quickly. Very simple, takes a lot of practice to get really good at, but that's all there is to it. So you shift it to this leg, and then with this leg, you just push the ball out like this. And again, there's many variations of this move. It doesn't have to be, you know, an exactly that um, angle. You know, it can be you come back here and do it over there. It doesn't really matter. But the point of the move is to use it in situations where someone lunges in at you and quickly take it away from them and go out the other way. Okay? This move is great if you have a cone or something in front of you. You can practice on the cone using the cro La Croqueta to get by. You can do it with both feet. Um, and this is one of my favorite moves, and I don't think it's beyond children. I don't think it's beyond kids. I think kids can learn this move. I would definitely recommend learning the other moves I've gone over today first. But this is a move that doesn't matter how old you are, you can learn it. It's really not that complex. Again, it's just two very simple touches. And it's one of my favorite moves. So let me show you what it looks like faster, um, because this, this move is killer when you use it at speed. Um, and then we'll move on from there. All right, guys, thank you for tuning into this video. I hope those skill moves are very useful for you. For those of you who are watching who are not kids or you're not beginners, these are still moves that work at the highest level. Again, you just need to look at the players who are using this, like Mohamed Salah, Eden Hazard, Zidane used some of these. So many great players use these moves. But for you guys who are kids, who are younger, who are beginners, these are gonna be great moves to start with. One, because they're pretty easy to learn, they're not complex, and they're going to be moves that are effective for you regardless of how old you are. So as you you get older as you get better these are still going to be moves that are effective for you in matches and I want to be making sure I'm giving you moves that are effective not necessarily moves that look cool or fancy all right so thank you for tuning into this video I really appreciate you showing up I will put two other videos up on the screen now so you can continue to learn to watch to grow and improve as a player I really appreciate you tuning in liking and sharing this video and I'll see you in the next one